Black Advisor Remui. This is an amazing theme that I've been using for quite some time and I highly recommend it. I want to show you how to upgrade. This is how you upgrade each time. It comes with the updated version of Moodle, so it's always up to date. You also get a lot of uh, extra information about how to make your site appearance look less Moodle-like and marketing ideas as well as free. A lot of free features that you can add to make your Moodle a great learning environment. Lots of statistics reports that you can download for free from Edwiser. If you have any questions, feel free to add them in the comment box below this video and I'll be happy to answer. First thing I'm going to do, of course, is get the uh, theme plugins, which I have. It's in a zipped folder that I opened up. Next, I'm going to go into the site administration and plugins. Under plugins, I'm going to go into install. Now, these plugins do not appear on Moodle.org. So you need to first upload them to your computer system and then into this Moodle or any other Moodle site, of course. All right, so here I go. I am clicking on plugins and then install plugins. Now, if you're the admin, this is quite obvious to you. However, if you're new, I want to make life a lot easier for you. So I think, from my experience, that the best way to upload files or install plugins, as they call them here, in its zipped format, is to simply drag and drop. Because if you don't have enough memory for this, going into the choose a file may just go round and round and you'll never know what's going on. Is it your computer? speed or is it something else with this you know exactly what's happening and if you get an error message let me know all right so let's go into the zipped files here they are notice i'm going to start with a theme and go through each one of them so all i need to do is simply drop it and there it goes and there's no error message which means that everything is just fine Next, I'm going to install the plugin. And here we go. So, this is the regular process. I'm currently using RemUI, but I'm upgrading to 3.11.1. Notice all these are fine. If you one of these are not okay, let me know so I can help with that. Anything related to Moodle admin, to managing a Moodle site, let me know whether as the admin, the manager, teacher, or if you just want to learn how to learn on Moodle. I've been using Moodle since 2003 as the admin and teaching with Moodle since 2003. Until now, I started Moodle training for teachers and I still give Moodle training for teachers on this platform since 2009. Okay, so here we go. Next, we're going to go back into the site administration. Actually, it's quite fast. If your internet is fast enough, that's all it depends on. And of course, if you don't have too many videos and you shouldn't have any, no uploads of videos or audio to your Moodle site, only use platforms such as YouTube or Vimeo. Of course, Poodle has a wonderful system that you might want to consider. I've been using it too. More about that if you ask in the comment box below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. All right, so now we're going back to the files. The next one is this one. Just pull it over. There it is. These will go faster. The first one I think took longer because it's larger than the others. I'm using a Mac if you're curious about the system. This is an Apple system. Now 
Now we're going to go back to the set administration and go through the process. They've added a few more. There are lots of new features available. It keeps improving. I think that's one of the things that I love about Advisor MUI or Advisor in general because they're forever looking for ways to help teachers and of course learners and make learning an enjoyable, easy to follow experience for everyone. Especially their reports. If you're interested in getting reports of what's happening with your students, all their reports, as far as I know, are completely free. So you are, I don't know, here's the next one. Just want to show you how long this takes because it doesn't take that long, even though it looks like, oh my gosh, it's a lot. But it definitely is not. And it's fun. I love installing plugins. I don't know, maybe this is weird or but I, I love anything that's connected with making improvements and that's what plugins do they, they actually improve they facilitate Moodle the uh, platform all right that's what plugins were originally made for and imagine all these are completely free Moodle is open source, it's completely free, so you can install it, you just need a few features. And most, I'd say, 95% of the plugins are free, it's just people helping people. And it's not just any people, it's uh, those that love education and want to make a difference, and they do. Lots of Moodle users, if you're interested in the statistics and the number of Moodle users, as well as locations and so on, just go to Moodle.org and all the information is there. Another great feature of Moodle is the community spirit. Everyone helps everyone, so if you've got questions, there's Moodle.org where you can ask your question and there'll be lots of helpers who do this for a volunteer they they just volunteer I think that's also amazing that there are people out there who aren't just after money they do things because they're passionate about helping that's why they do it that's Moodle it's an amazing not only a platform I'd say it's just a community if you want to know more about Moodle, let me know in the chat in the comment box below or simply look it up. And I think you'll be better for it. Many don't know about it unless they're schools or districts or ministries or other organizations are using it so they're aware of it. Not much marketing for Moodle because as I said, you know, it's a community, and I don't know if they care that much about money. There are partners, though, and that's a great way for schools to go to partner with Moodle Partners. That really helps. But if you're an individual, you can actually have your own Moodle site hosted on your own for very little. If you need a lot of students, that's another story, but there are ways to learn how to optimize your Moodle site so that you get the most. And as I said, you can always ask questions on how to do that on Moodle.org. There, now I think we're getting closer to the end of our theme. Let's see what's left here. All right, so we've got this one and then another one. Oh, I think I missed that one. Let me try again trying to hurry up a bit here. I guess that doesn't work. Yeah, I just made a mess here. That's okay. Let me fix that. All right, so let's go back here and do it a bit slower. There we go. Now for our final one. I don't know how long that took, but it couldn't have taken 
more than five minutes, I don't think. Plus, I did a lot of talking, so I guess maybe I worked slower. But it's the pleasure. There's no need to work fast when it comes to Moodle. And by the way, if you have a course on Moodle, and if you're interested in a course, let me know. I'll give you a chance to get a course, an empty course with just uh, the various basic features and all, of course, the plugins that I use, so you can try it out. And play around with it. Of course, if you want to teach for free, for or fee-based to make money, well, Moodle is the way to go. It's a wonderful platform. And you'll get the money straight to your PayPal account or credit card. You don't need to go through a third party. It's yours. You own it and you get the money. And I think this is something that teachers or anyone who wants to teach, you don't have to be technically a teacher, anyone who wants to share information. I think I've finished this, but let me just make sure to see if there's another one left. Yep. There's one more. All right, there we go. So this is indeed the last one. And then we're ready to go. There we are. I've got a lot of this, this uh, Moodle site. Well, it's not that old, but I've got a lot of plugins. And the reason I have so many plugins is because uh, this is where I teach, where I provide professional development for teachers for free and Moodle training for free. So I want them to try out the various plugins. And the only way to do that is simply to add them. So generally, I have uh, a lot of plugins that are useful, but if there's a plugin, you take my courses and there's a plugin that you like, please share it with me. And uh, I'll add it if uh, it's not there. All right, so now we've done it. We have completed our plugin installation of Edweiser Rem UI. Now I want to show you what it looks like. I'm going to go into a, um, a recent course called, that's coming up. Actually, it's not a course, it's a conference, a three day conference, an annual event. This is our 10th anniversary, and I'm really excited about that. I want you to see the features here that are completely different also. Over here, they've added some new features. So let me open this up. Notice um, what's here. When you turn editing on, you will see add a block. Now that's really useful because in the old days, it used to just appear on the left here. So this is a great feature. And of course, when you do that, the uh, right block opens up with the latest announcements, upcoming events, and whatever you want to add. Lots of, uh, that's one feature. Another one, notice if you go into, or just hover your mouse over any of these. By the way, you can open this up so that it's not icons, but it's the actual words. Okay, so this is what you will see. This is an overview of the content and so on. Um, and if you scroll down, you'll get to site navigation, but because it's text plus the icons, it takes more room. So let me just uh, close that up so you can see it higher up. Notice there it is. So if you go into that, you'll get this, which is completely new for this uh, Remi UI theme. You get site navigation as well as course right now, plus you get your home and so on. So if you scroll down, You'll get all this information, block practice area. Okay, everything that's available here. If you go into the site navigation, you get your site administration, completion reports, lots of analytics, reports and analytics, which is what this theme offers you. A lot of reports, and that's very, very useful for schools and organizations to know what's happening, but also to individual teachers. So that's it. I just finished um, installing Remi UI theme by Edweiser. Have a great day.